This is the plaintiff, Raul Morales II. He says he met the defendant at work and ended up renting a room from her in her house. A short time later, she accused him of stealing $900 cash. He didn't steal a thing, but moved out because he wasn't comfortable there anymore. The defendant went around telling everyone at work he was a thief, which he isn't. And he's suing her now in this court for the security she owes him and for defamation in the total amount of $5,000. This is the defendant, Valerie. She says she busted him stealing cash from her. And when she told him she was going to tell the world he was a thief, he fled her home. She filed a police report. The defendant got mad and entered her house, destroying her things, including punching a 55-inch flat-screen TV. And he's owed nothing. She's accused of filing a false report. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $2,643 for damaged belongings. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. The litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Mr. Morales, how do you two know each other? Uh, we previously worked together. All right, and um, when you say previously, how long ago? 2018. Okay. So you end up um, renting a room at her home when you're still working together or no? No. You know my father right? was working there. I got the job from my father, and he still worked there okay. with her. So you get the room, and you're paying how much a month? Eight fifty. And you pay a security deposit of eight fifty. Yes. And what happens? Um, she started, like, texting me. And she's telling me how she, you know, she mi keeps misplacing. One day she misplaced a certain amount of money, and two days later she missed. She started texting me saying that she missed, that she lost nine hundred dollars. Can I see your the text? Yes. While he's looking for that, why don't you tell me what went wrong between you two as uh, yeah. roommates or housemates? Ma'am, I had no disagreements with him up until the day he fled the home. We never even had an What's argument. What's fled the home mean? Uh, on Friday morning, on the 8th of November, I busted him stealing money from my purse. And How did you bust him? I woke up about 5.30, 6 o'clock. I snuck downstairs. He was in the kitchen, leaning over the table, in my pocketbook, with my wallet on the table. I asked him what he was doing. He claimed he was looking for mail. I said, in my pocketbook? How are you looking for mail in my pocketbook? He then picked up a Yankee trader off the table and left the kitchen area through the dining room, went back upstairs Wait, to his did you room. see? Did you bust him stealing your money? I didn't see him with actually any money. I saw my wallet on the table. He was digging in my pocketbook. After he left, the pouch that contained $982 Why was do you missing. have $982 in your pocketbook downstairs? Because I downstairs. had taken money out of the... Uh, no, why is it downstairs? Because I have this bad habit of leaving it in my work purse in the kitchen on the wall against the phone. Right, but why? You have a roommate. Like, I mean, I, you know... Well, I also have video cameras in the house, but... Oh, so did, is he on video rummaging through He your... should have been on video, except the video was knocked out on the... I went to bed on the 2nd, November 2nd, November 3rd. There was no video. The video How was completely How was there dead. no video? The video what was What do you knocked... mean by the phrase knocked out? I have, like, a video surveillance system that covers... Eight cameras that what covered the home. What does the phrase knocked out mean? Oh, meaning no longer operative. I'm very sorry. What does that mean? Did somebody take a bat and hit it? Or did, um, is your stuff just not working? No, I thought it was shorted out. It wasn't working. We had no... It just said on the screen, offline, meaning that it was no longer recording. And were you able to get it back online? Not until I called uh, the tech. And when the tech came out, I thought that the storm knocked it out. The tech said the hard drive was missing from the console. According to him, the hard drive is missing. May I see that in writing from the tech? I only have the replacement. Yes, I have the bill from the tech. If it's just a bill for a new hard drive, that doesn't prove the hard drive was missing. It is. And I, I later said that I should have gotten... That might prove that the hard drive had to be replaced, but let me see your bill yes, anyway. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I kind of thought of that. Just a second, sir. There's no question pending. Okay. This is for the hard drive. This is for the installation. I'll give you both. On November 8th, there's a text from her to you. The money I made yesterday at Village. What is Village? That's the place that we both mutually used to work at. The, that's the kid. Just stand. what kind of place is it? It's, it's a, taxi a taxi service, service ma'am. OK. At Village that I left in my Your money Honor. pouch downstairs in kitchen chair. 
has also grown legs and walked away like the pouch with cash and check in envelope. Something's up. I either have a ghost or somebody's robbing me. Difference this time is I have discovered it in the middle of the night. Also, if possible, I'll take the rent. He answers, you need to stop taking your pills and drinking alcohol with them. Maybe you should first start by stopping that, then maybe you'll start to remember where you stash your blank. You're obviously hiding the money on yourself, and no, I need till the 10th day for rent. I don't have it all at this moment. The day for rent was the 11th. The day for rent was the 11th. No, the has, 10th. You answer, has nothing to do with my money disappearing. I left the money in the kitchen chair. Please tell me what taking a pill and drinking has to do with my money disappearing. <laughs> I've been drinking and taking pills for years. <laughs> If you have nothing productive or constructive to say to me, don't say anything to me at this point. He answers, I don't know, but you're starting to annoy me now with this whole losing blank and then accusing everyone because you're losing everything. To which you answer, I did not accuse anyone. To which he answers, I'm not a little kid. I know someone is insinuating when they keep bringing up the same thing. And this isn't something new. You're always losing things. Uh, it goes back and forth, and then at some point he says, who loses their money? Who does that? Not me, sorry, but that's one thing I don't ever just lose. I don't lose money two days in a row. There's a problem when things like this start happening. This doesn't sit well with me, and I will probably start looking for somewhere else to live. When do you say he stormed off or fled, as you that said? morning, the 8th. What day? November, that was a Friday. She told me to leave. I have a question for you. Thank you. If you saw him rummaging in your purse, why isn't any of that texted? Why don't, why are you talking about, hey, money's missing, instead of, you know, you, I so, caught you with your hands in my purse. Why aren't you texting that? I was talking to him upstairs because when he left the room, he went back upstairs. I don't know what that means. That's not an he, answer to I'm my sorry, question. He, he left. It is now, you told me you woke up at what time? 5.30, quarter six. Correct. Six this is 6.36. This is an hour later. Okay. And if you found him an hour ago with his hands in the cookie jar, then I expect that what you're going to say is, wow, I'm missing money. There must be a ghost or someone's rob... I'd expect you to say, the heck were you doing with your hands in my purse? I'm missing money from my purse. In fact, if you caught him, if you really did catch him with his hands in your purse, I would expect that the first thing you'd do is check for the money. I did. And What? After he fled the after he fled the kitchen through the dining at room at five in the morning, whatever time I started texting him, I could be off on the no, time. No, 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 no. You're not texting him. He's in front of your face. His hands are in the purse. Yes. Why don't you walk to the purse and check for the money then? He fled the area. I stood in the door talking to him. I stood in the hallway talking to him, leaking into the kitchen. He's over in my purse against the wall. I said to him, "What are you doing?" He said he was looking for me. Listen, to, what is? What do you keep touching there? What are you doing? She wants me to calm down. She okay, wants it me doesn't to calm matter. Down. I don't mind that you're excited. Thank you. I'm just not understanding you. Yes, ma'am. I, I was startled. First of all, my heart's pounding because now I know this guy's so in my purse. So what did you do between five and six thirty when you start texting him? Hey, money's missing. Timing what might have did been you off. Do? Okay, I didn't what do anything. Did... Okay. I was standing at the door. When you text him, yes. how come I don't see as the first text, where did you go? Why did you leave? Why were your hands in my purse? Why is it that what I see instead, get him back up, please. Why is it that what I see instead is, wow, there's got to be a ghost in here or something because now this is two days in a row that I'm missing money. It sounds like you don't know what happened to your money in the text. It doesn't sound like you caught him. I, what was the word? I busted him. Like, it doesn't sound like that when I read the text. Well, I started texting him shortly after he fled the area. Yeah, that's when it's even more guilty. I caught okay. him with his hands in the purse. Yes. I busted him, and he fled like the common thief he is. Did you call the police? Yes. When? Saturday. Saturday? Yes. Did you call the police on November 8th no, at 636? No, because when he fled, he said that that's he... That's Friday. If he, if he saw me in the streets... He would do me. I do. And me. then you decided you, you didn't care if he did you on Saturday and did call the police? I, I did because if I explained to some people that we knew, they insist that you have to make the police report. I said, it's not going to bring my money back. My money's gone. Why are you saying uh, this is a mystery that needs solving if you literally caught him with his hands in your purse? Did, did she catch you with no. your hands in her purse? No. And I was, right. I, we, and did you flee when she said, no. I'm going to tell everyone at work what a thief you are with her nine to do Did no. you flee? I left two days later after I tried to make amends with her. She tells me, no, you're not longer welcome in my house. Get your stuff and get out. That's what she tells me. Because I didn't want to just leave like that. Okay, and I'm telling you I don't steal. I believe you that you don't steal. That's what you have me say to you at this point. I have my own stuff. I don't need your little bit of stuff. 
And then she says, you put yourself in my shoes, then you decide what you'd be thinking right now. Money doesn't just disappear, especially when they're in the house and I haven't gone anywhere. So again, please stop. The more you try to explain something that has nothing to do with you, the more you guilty you sound. Consider that. Why are you saying, I, I don't need your help. I've Sorry. done this without you my entire career. All right. Why aren't you saying, you know you're guilty, that's why you fled. What were you doing with your hands in my purse a moment ago? Why isn't that coming out? You know why? Because it didn't happen. You didn't see him. You didn't bust him, and you didn't see him with your hands up. You think he took your money because your money's missing. You haven't found it, and he's the only other guy there. No, ma'am. May I say something? Just a second. I want to keep reading these. Yes, ma'am. I think it's because I was drinking and I hid it somewhere. Even if that were the case, it should turn up. Can't be anywhere except my room or the porch of the house. I think you meant you think it's because I was drinking and I hid it somewhere. So again, the more you try to justify my situation, the guiltier you look if it has nothing to do with you. Then you should not be annoyed by my sharing the experience. None of that makes any sense. I'd be embarrassed to, of myself to have lost money for the second time in one week and you lost your weed the week before that. I'm sorry, but it seems like a pattern, and it's not gonna get any better, especially if you continue to drink alcohol while taking all those pills. That cannot be good for you, to which you answer true. But again, it has little to do with things. Disappearing um, here in the house, women has everything to do with it, because if you weren't drinking, you'd know where you stashed it on yourself. I don't actually drink that much. I only take one or two or three shots for the evening, along with a few tokes with you. You worked on Rikers Island? Yes, ma'am. You were a uh, what? Retired corrections officer. Corrections officer. Yes, ma'am. I mean, there is literally hours of text and not one mention of hand in the cookie jar. When he left the kitchen, he ran upstairs to his room. I never saw actually any monies in his hand. My money was in the purse when I went to bed. Not only did that money disappear, this purse disappeared in October. It was later discovered in the closet after he moved out in November. This person In what had, closet? In the pantry closet. It had 250 What's the pantry seven, closet? Is that pantry, only his or is that his and yours? No, it's in my pantry, in my kitchen. Okay, well, what was it doing there? The pouch was found after it disappeared in October, second week of October. So this you pouch, found one of the things you said he took? Yes, ma'am. Was there money and, and... The monies was missing, but the reason I know there was $257 in here is because whenever I stash money in the pouch, I write on the pouch how much money's in the pouch, the date, the time that I put on in the pouch. On the pouch? No, I put it in the pouch. I write on the deposit slip, and I put it in the pouch, and? the date, the time, and the amount of monies. This pouch went missing in October. I discovered the pouch in the pantry closet 30 days after he moved out. I was glad to just get the pouch back. And then you find out there's an additional $137 missing from a desk drawer. He tells you over and over again to check your cameras. That's why you have them. He had knocked them out. They were offline already. You keep saying that, but again, you have no evidence of that. You're correct. I asked you to show me how yes. someone stole the hard drive. There's a missing, because that's nefarious. Yes. If there's a hard drive missing, show me how someone stole a hard drive. I, and you don't have that. And if someone stole a hard drive, you'd have that. And you have a safe, but you put the money in different pockets and pouches and purses all over? I only, ma'am, it's a large house. All I right. live alone. It's mostly just me there. So, yes, am I lax about laying money around? I won't deny that. You shouldn't be anymore. I will not be, but I have no reason to lie here. Yeah, one reason to lie is that he wants his security deposit back. Right. And he's suing you for his security deposit, and your defense to giving it back to him is to say that he stole $928. No, no, that's yes. not why I'm not, no, ma'am. Oh, that's not why, why are I'm, you not giving him back his security deposit? Not because he stole the money. I'm not giving him back the security because he destroyed property in my home. How did he destroy, tell me about that. How did he the destroy television property? television in the living room, somebody punched it. When? Um, I don't know when. I discovered it after he moved out, but there was only he and I in the home. I had no right, visitors. Right, but wasn't the police there when he came back to move? Yes, and I okay, believe... Okay, so if the police were there, the father, how did he punch it? Yes, he punched it prior to them coming. When did he punch Somewhere it? Somewhere before the 8th, because no, he fled. See, if, someone, if I walked up to my TV one day and saw a punch, I'd know when I saw that. I didn't see the punch until the 20th. He moved out on the 10th. I can only well, can tell I you the truth. Can I see a picture of the punch in the television? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me see that. So you blame him? Who's the lady who keeps trying to interrupt us? That's my daughter. I'm sorry. Okay, sir. go ahead. <laughs> Your Honor, um, I'm looking for another picture now of the TV before it was broken. Um, I wanted to say I didn't even notice it, and I wanted to ask if she has time after someone moves out to look for damages. 
Yes, you should be. First of all, in circumstances like this, I would expect you to be looking around for things, you know, already. But the problem is a proof problem. You're trying to say he punched my TV, but you didn't even notice it until 10 days after he was I gone. Didn't. This also doesn't look like a punch. This looks like something hit it when somebody was, you know, carrying something and some something hit it. So that that becomes just a little. Yeah, you could you could claim it a year later. You could claim it four years, I, four years, two years <laughs> later. Um, but. You know, you're going to have a proof problem if you don't notice it in all that time and he's not there and other people are there. There has in been no one there. That's no, just I'm it. sure nobody else. All right. Yeah. Okay. In small claims court, because your deposit will be used to pay. Oh, you tell me. You have a lawsuit against him, a counterclaim, where you are asking for $850 for the TV, $400 for a security system, $200 for the filtration canister on the fish tank. $130 for Giorgio Armani glasses because they're scratched, so you think he scratched them. I believe he did. Where do you get that? Because what they evidence were, do you they have? Were not, I don't have any physically. They were not scratched when I've had three okay, pairs. Do, uh, okay, do you time. understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I do. I like do. how silly that sounds. All right, <laughs> an alarm sensor, a squeegee. How did he ruin your squeegee? He tore it apart and bought it to me and told me it fell apart. Would you like to see the squeegee? Okay, so this is while he was still living there. Yes, ma'am. This is you. I feel really sorry for your sorry blank. Kiss my blank. I told everyone at the village what you did and I'm gonna to continue to tell anybody who mentions your name to me what you did here. Have a nice life or see me in court, you piece of blank. He answers, what TV? We did a walkthrough with the police on 1110 and there was nothing mentioned about a television. And you say, you piece of blank, you know you broke the TV as well as up the, the fish filter. Do you want your money? Take me to court. That's the only way you're getting a dime from me. Until set time, please leave me the alone. And then I blocked them. Because if I didn't block it, there would be a lot more text messages than that. Your Honor? Uh, you're accusing him of breaking a vase. When did you notice that? Because 30 days later, you hadn't noticed that. No, I did. And this is a letter that <laughs> I gave Show me his... any, uh, the damage that you say he did in your text is the TV and the filtration. I've seen a picture of the TV. Do you have a picture of what you're talking about with the filtration canister? Yes. What did he do to the filtration canister? He disconnected it from under the uh, fish tank and he turned it upside down and took the gasket. The gas and then plugged it back in. So now it's running. It's just leaking water under the base of the fish tank. Tell me how you didn't notice that. Because it's a huge fish tank. Give her this. I'm sorry. If there's water leaking from the bottom, how do you not notice because that when the police in, are there? It's in the living room in the corner, in the far corner. It's a large well, home. Well, but if there's a leak where water's leaking on, the, is that carpeting or wood? No, it's wood, but the tank right. is all Doesn't the way over. Right. Doesn't it start to, to collect? No, ma'am. It did. It was starting to collect. This has a base in it. There's a base in it, so there was water all on the what inside of this. What do you think he did? What is it now? He turned the canister. Where's the canister? Did we give her a can? No, I need the one. Did you give it to him? No. That's the vase. No. They're here. The canister's here. This wait, canister. wait, wait. Give me the vase. Your Honor. This is, stop. This is a vase knocked on the ground and cracked. You didn't notice that until it how many days later? It was pushed in the corner. It was pushed up against the radiator. When I went, when I went to mop the floor, it fell over, and, that's how, and I saw it broken. Maybe you broke it. No, ma'am, I didn't. I would tell you if I did. I it have no reason It fell over. Why. Maybe I'm, you broke it. That's the Bill Trujillo. Mm, okay. Poster. What is this? That's the canister. I can't tell That's how big it is. How big canister. is it? It's big. It's like a it's like a garbage can. It's right about this. Two one. Your honor, sir. Your honor. You like that? And what do you say he did to it? If you see the other picture, did you give it the one where it's turned upside down? You'll see the gasket's missing. It's missing the gas. Yes, that's the one in your right hand. Look at the four corners. A little gasket is missing, and you think he went to your fish tank. No, I know he did Lifted that. the thing. Yes, ma'am. Took, took it out. Four little rubber gaskets. Took the one on out. It. One gasket is missing. Reconnected and it. And you believe that he, and by ga you calling it a gasket, it's just a little rubber pad that yes, goes at the bottom. Yes, but if it's not in there, so the water runs out. So he removed a little out. rubber pad from your fish tank. That doesn't sound nutty to you. The, a little rubber pad from your fish tank. And so now he's responsible for damages for this because a little rubber pad is missing here. Man, As I've opposed to, to if we went by my house and looked at the four legs of anything and one of them would be missing somewhere. Okay. Oh my Your God. Honor, when you're done with that, may I? He's, he's suing for $4,150 for defamation of character. Talk to me. Well, 
my father and her both worked there at the same time. My father had multiple employees coming back to him saying that she was telling everyone, oh, your son, oh, we heard your son stole all this money from Valerie. Like, just multiple employees from Village saying that she's telling them that I stole. Do you have any priors? Yes. For any, what are they? Nothing for robbery. I'll be the judge of that. What are they? Um, possession, assaults, and uh, sales. Okay. Nothing related to theft. Nothing no. related to theft. All right. I, yeah, I, I, there's no evidence you stole the money. I don't believe what she says right. that your hand was in her purse. I, 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 even if, even if you were looking for mail on a table where the thing was in her purse, the evidence is so clear that every time she turns around, she remembers more money. That to me, this is completely unreliable, and I find there to be zero evidence to prove that you stole that money. Thank period. You. Okay. Thank you. So you are entitled to your $850 security deposit returned. Now. She claims that you did all this damage. Most all of this damage, except for, I guess, the squeegee that fell apart, most all of this damage, most of them are on there once you filed a counterclaim, because they never came up until now, including things like, there's a scratch on my glasses, he must have done them. There's a piece of rubber on the four rubber base of this, so he must have done that. I mean, it's just nutty, mm -hmm. and no, no, on your counterclaim against him, we are done. And I am telling you, I am issuing an order, stop. Because it's one thing for you to feel he's a thief, but now I am making a judicial ruling that there is just zero evidence that he took your money. So now you must stop, okay? Because he may have a defamation case after this, all right? You don't have a $4,000 defamation case based on the fact that she feels you stole her money. You do have $850 in your pocket from your oh, security thank you. deposit. That. And you have zero on the counterclaim. That's yes, my point. Well, the plaintiff is going to get his security deposit back. Valerie, you couldn't substantiate or prove any of your charges. You made a lot of charges against him. I did, but they're all true, and it's okay because I believe in karma, and what goes around comes around, and it will come back around. Okay. But okay. you understand why you lost. You just didn't have the right evidence. Yes, I understand. But okay. no one else lived in a home except he and I, so I'm okay. certain that all the damages that were occurred, he indeed caused them, whether I won here or not. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Morales, you didn't get more than your security, but you are going to get that. Right, that's, that's pretty much, that was my goal, to just at least get my security deposit. The $800. About. Right, and now I have a, a chance to, uh, if she does open her mouth, sue again for defamation of character. All right, well, let's see what happens. Well, okay, thank have you very good much. Day. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, Pleasure very meeting. good. Harvey? You know, what I'm, what I'm thinking here, Doug, is that there wasn't solid proof one way or the other, uh, whether this plaintiff stole money, um, that it was all kind of up in the air. It turns out that he didn't. Uh, and that's why the, he didn't get money on defamation, because there was no proof going into this thing. Now we know she's on notice. If she does it again, she's going to lose it. 